Hello everyone, this is Blake and this is the face shift interface on uh, my Macintosh. And uh, we're gonna walk through creating a simple little performance and importing that into Maya with a uh, Auto 3D avatar. All right, so uh, let's begin. This is the face shift um, interface and I've already got it set up so we can just start creating a recording. So right now, I am being captured. And uh, we can see the avatar uh, inside face shift tracking what I'm saying. So let's try it. OK, so here, face shift is now going through the interface, uh, going through the capture. And it is uh, refining because it was unable to uh, keep track in real time, probably because of all of the software I have running right now, uh, screen capture and all that stuff. But we can see right here, it's tracking my mouth, tracking my eyes, and normally I take my eyeglasses off for this type of thing, uh, but it seems to be working fine. Okay, so now we've got this recording. I'm going to do a refinement which is just going to remove some of the noise. Okay, we're back. Um, when I hit the refine button, it took it a couple minutes, so I've uh, cut that part out. Uh, a refinement, depending upon the length of the animation, you know, will take a little bit of time. So now we have a recording here, and we can play it, and you'll see so the performance. Right now, I am being captured. Okay, so there's the performance, you know, we can scrub through and examine how well the lip sync and all that is going. You could refine the, this tracking in phase shift, but uh, we'll leave that for a different exercise. And now at this point, I am going to export this clip. And we'll call this our example. And we'll just save this puppy out, and it's going to save the audio as example. It's going to save the JPEG files, that is the clip itself, and all that's writing out. And of course, that's going to take a little bit of time, so I will probably edit this part out also. Let's see if I can just cancel that. I believe it still wrote the performance. So now, at this point, we can go to Maya. Come on, Maya. There we go. Here we are in Maya. And so the first thing I'm going to do in Maya is I am going to open the standard rig that is uh, the Auto 3D avatar. And in this instance, I've already put my own avatar's face uh, into the rig. And so now I can launch Face Shift for Maya. And we can uh, load our retargeting. And I have stored the retargeting up here. There we are. Face Shift. 1.2 retargeting. Okay, now we have the expressions. And now I can connect. And capture. And uh, we can see the avatar we see it going. inside the face shift. Turn off tracking. live. And now I am going to load a recording. And I go to where I stored them inside the face shift directories. Uh, there's my performances, and we're looking for example. Here's all the frames of a previous our announcement for phase shift. And there's the clip that has loaded. And now I'm going to also import the audio for this. So go back up to where I've stored all my phase shift performances. And 
once again look for my example. There's example wave. Import that. And let's see here. I need 445 frames in my animation. That's the length of the recording that we made. And now I just add the recording to the Maya timeline. And now at this point, I should just be able to hit play. So right now, I am being captured. And um, you can see the avatar uh, inside the face shift tracking what I'm saying. So let's try it. Not bad, huh? Of course, you know, the camera motions aren't there. But, uh, so, right now, it looks like we got pretty good lip sync. Let's see here, if I move my camera in a little bit closer. There's our character. And there we are again. So, right now, I am being captured. And um, you can see the avatar. Uh, now, if you ask me, that is pretty simple. So, face shift, you rock.